Well, one of the deadliest mass whale strandings in WA history has claimed more casualties. Three have only seven survivors beaching themselves again. Experts are blaming shallow waters for interfering with the animal's sonar, killing almost 150 whales. The major operation is underway to clear more than 140 short-finned pilot whale carcasses from Hamlin Bay near Augusta. The number of bodies growing overnight and today after three of only seven surviving whales beached themselves again, forcing vets to put them down. With these types of strandings, the, the chances of re-stranding is high and um, certainly those animals had been... Um, in an exacerbated state for several hours. A big disappointment for more than 100 volunteers, their emotions running over late yesterday as they waved off the few survivors. It was sort of touch and go there for a little while, wasn't it, whether they were going to turn around and come back in. It was horrible People. to see them struggling. We just yeah. wanted to help, do something, even if it was just a little. It had been a long and devastating day. Authorities believe they simply got to the animals too late after they beached the evening before. Some experts are blaming Hamlin Bay's shallow waters, combined with wind and waves from Cyclone Marcus, for interfering with the whale's sonar, the same beach host to another mass stranding exactly nine years ago. By sheer coincidence, you have a 1 on 61 chance of it... Um happening on the same day because uh, whales down south usually strand in March or April. For the sake of beachgoers, the carcasses are being taken away to landfill. Their DNA samples will be taken as authorities try to make sense of one of WA's most deadly mass strandings. It all adds to the, the profile for future strandings and, and you know, understanding of the species. Renee Henry, Nine News.